Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. His Majesty's representative for charity work and youth affairs, National Security Advisor, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, and Honorary President of Bahrain Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, directed the Federation to distribute the awards allocated for Nasser bin Hamad Endurance Race Local Studs. The race was scheduled to take place on March 27, 2020, but was cancelled. Thus, the endurance season for the year 2019 and 2020 concluded. The initiative came came to affirm His Highness Sheikh Nasser's appreciation for the role of the local studs in developing the endurance sports in Bahrain thanks to their active participation in the races. And this uh, has been key in making the endurance season a huge success. The initiative will undoubtedly have a positive impact on the studs preparation for the next season and their efforts in improving their caters to achieve further successes. For their part, the local studs express their utmost appreciation to His Highness Sheikh Nasser for his unique initiative that are meant to support them and develop the sport in Bahrain. The Interior Minister and Head of the Follow-up Committee for the Implementation of the National Plan to promote the spirit of belonging to the national and reinforce the nation and reinforce the value of nationalism, Bahrainuna, General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, marked the first anniversary of the launching of the plan on March 26 with this following speech. The 26th of March marks the first anniversary of the launch of the national plan to promote the spirit of belonging to the nation and reinforce the values of nationalism Bahrainuna that was launched on the 26th of March 2019 under the patronage and direction of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. The national plan values and goals come as part of the royal vision and thought of creating a modern state based on equality and justice and backed by the foundation of the reinforcement of loyalty. The belonging to the nation and the strengthening of its cornerstones to be the first protection front of the society. As plans and initiatives are measured by actual field work and not the theoretical principles, thus, on this occasion, we express our sincere gratitude and appreciation to the national stand of all members of the Bahraini society for volunteering as part of the national campaign to combat the coronavirus since it's launched by the national team that worked by the directives of His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, who supervises these efforts and follow ups on all the developments to ensure that precautionary procedures and measures are effective and in line with the current situation. The remarkable response of more than 30,000 volunteers is a source of honor that asserts the strength of the culture of belonging, national cohesion and human coexistence and symbolizes and represents the society's values and the foundation of Bahrainuna to bring up a generation that believes in the value of the voluntary work and its importance to promote confidence in the community partnership. These are key dimensions in the characteristics of the Bahraini persona, persona that has the tendency for interacting and partnership based on respect and confidence. In this context, the minister said or stated that it would like to express, he would like to express his sincere pride and gratitude to the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, National Security Advisor and President of the Supreme Council for Youth, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, for being a role model for youth, for determination and persistence and honorable role in the reinforcement of awareness about the concept of sports for all as a form of national work and protection of the national identity. Out of the dedication to promote the sense of nationalism and national unity and assert the loyalty to the leadership of His Majesty the King, the nation is not only a geographical space in which to live, but it comprises of the history, roots, culture, identity and existence of the citizen. The promotion of the belonging to the nation and national values is not just about feelings and emotions, but it's fundamental great guarantees to achieve national stability. The reinforcement of belonging, national values and the security responsibility to our society requires the implementation of community partnership to promote security and safety. The National Plan emphasizes this so with its 105 initiatives, of which 82 were implemented since its endorsement by the Cabinet and the formation of a follow-up committee. The plan has taken steady steps from the phase of being an idea to the execution stage within the goals and objectives de or determined in its founding year.
On this occasion, he expressed his sincere thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, and all nationalists and loyal Bahrainis who are involved in the current situation that requires unity and a positive response to all precautionary measures to ensure safety. He expressed appreciation for the efforts and support of all in activating the initiatives of the national plan, along with the official and civic bodies for their cooperation and national sense to move forward in the implementation of the national plan and the achievement of its goals. He also extended thanks to organizations and individuals for their participation in the distinguished national work towards achieving the objectives of the national plan to serve the nation. In implementation of the decision of the coordination meeting uh, th that is shared by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and as part of the precautionary measures to avoid the spread of the coronavirus and to enforce the prevention of gatherings of more than five people in public places, the Interior Ministry calls uh, for the following. Leave home uh, to go to work or hospitals or buy medicine and other essential requirements. Sports on public roads should be practiced individually or as a pair while keeping social distance. Children aren't allowed to be taken along. More than five individuals are not allowed to gather or sit in front of homes and roads. Gatherings at parks and beaches are prohibited. It is important to commit to precautionary measures during family and social meetings, including weddings and funerals. The attendance of barrier rituals is limited to relatives only. It is important to commit to social distance in queues and a distance of no less than one meter at shopping centers, public services area and transportation points for workers. Benefit from home delivery services to get groceries and other requirements. The Interior Ministry asserts a dedication to protect the safety of citizens and residents that could be achieved through the cooperation of all and their dedication to follow instructions. The Ministry is confident that the people understand that their commitment to safety or to safety rules will contribute to the success of the state efforts to prevent the spread of the virus. Following the directives issued by the Government Executive Committee chaired by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and in line with the decision to temporarily close non-essential businesses from Thursday the 26th of March till the 9th of April 2020, whilst hypermarkets, supermarkets, cold stores, bakeries, pharmacies and banks remain open and restaurants continue to provide services via takeaway or delivery only. The Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism issued a a notice clarifying what it deemed non-essential. Under the decision, all retail and industrial enterprises will close temporarily from 7 p.m. on Thursday, the 26th of March 2020 until 7 p.m. on Thursday, the 9th of April 2020. All retail and industrial enterprises will be open again from the 9th of April till the 23rd of April. The following types of businesses are excluded from these measures and may continue to operate as usual. Hypermarkets, supermarkets, cold stores, grocery stores, butcher shops and fish shops. Bakeries, natural gas fueling stations and liquid fueling stations. Hospitals, medical centers, pharmacies and optical centers. Banks and currency exchange bureaus. Corporate administration offices of companies and organizations that conclude activities without direct engagement with customers. Businesses that import, export and distribute goods. Automotive garages and repair shops. Businesses operating in the construction and maintenance industry. Manufacturers, the Ministry noted the importance of adherence to the regulations and procedures issued by the Ministry of Health aimed at containing and preventing the spread of the COVID-19 virus and in particular measures of uh, social distancing. Retail and industrial enterprises are allowed to engage in the sale of goods and services and their delivery by electronic means and social media platforms. Restaurants and food and beverage outlets are also permitted to operate through, uh, through takeaway services and home delivery services.